ESPN thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League. We're big on saving money, so we started doing our own dental work. Hold still, honey. <laughs> Why didn't they just switch to mercury? <sighs> Got it. Oh. Mercury. Just because we're super hungry. Doesn't mean you gotta spend a lot. Because Denny's brought back the Super Slam. With eggs, hash browns, bacon, sausage, and buttermilk or pumpkin pancakes. All for just $6.99. The $6.99 Super Slam is back. See you at Denny's. Josh Jacobs, welcome to the black hole. The Raiders rookie finds the end zone twice in his first NFL game, and the Raiders are victorious. How you doing, everybody? Welcome, Larry Beal and John Middlecoff with the wrap-up as the Raiders beat the Broncos by a final score of 24 to 16. Let's be honest, coming in after all the distractions with Antonio Brown, we had no idea what to expect. The Raiders came out, especially in the first half, they were razor sharp. I, I thought the difference in the game was Derek Carr and how fast he started this game. He was 16 for 17 in the first half. And it was a throwback game. Remember 2016 when it looked like he might win the MVP and then his ankle snapped at the Coliseum? I think the second to the last game against the Indianapolis Colts, he brought it tonight. He, he was excellent, and obviously the rookie and the offensive line, the, the big uglies, they, they never quite get the credit. But they were tossing around Vaughn Miller, who's going to go to the Hall of Fame one day, and Bradley Chubb that looks like one of the better young players in the league. They dominated him up front. That was, that was an old-school Raider game for sure. Yeah, well, the muscle up front... The defensive pressure from the Broncos, they were never really able to establish. And hello, Josh Jacobs. He got.